Hello, I'm Shachar Peled, a freelance translator since 1985, sharing with you some uh, insights about the industry, the art, and the profession. And today I, I want to continue speaking about the, uh, the rise of the machines, the entry of uh, TMs into our, uh, our workflow. Um, but in the context of the, the work that we do per, per text, per client, per document, because in fact, our art is more of a shoemaker, shoemaker's art. It's not like a, a huge uh, um, plant uh, with, a, um, with a big line producing uh, shoes by the hundreds of, uh, and thousands. But uh, we are like the old-fashioned shoemaker bent over his, uh, what's it called? I don't remember. I'll have to Google it. Um, um, okay. And, uh, and he's, he's tailor-making the shoe for a specific foot. He's, he's measured the foot. He has uh, all the tools of his art are focused on creating this specific shoe for that specific foot. It's not some general number. It's not like um, 32 European or I don't know, 40, 14 American. No, it's like that foot will fit that shoe. It's like bespoke, very tailor-made, very, very fine. And that's the way it was done. Now in shoemaking, uh, the rise of the machines meant that you can uh, now market much cheaper shoes for any feet and it's not, it's okay. They can, people can walk with very good shoes without having bespoke tailor-made shoes for them. So the entry of cat tools was in fact an attempt to mechanize, to make uh, translation more of a mass production because if you could reuse translation segments that would uh, uh, speed up the process as it were but in fact it's like having it's like for the individual translator using a TM is more like uh, the old shoemaker buying a new automated glue machine it still he still measures everything to fit he still does everything, but instead of squeezing the glue with his hand, he now has this uh, automated machine that does it much faster, so he can save like a minute or two uh, when he makes the shoe. But it's still bespoke, it's still one-to-one, -one, which is exactly what happens with us, because every text is one-to-one. -one. Contrary to authors who can write a book and then distribute the same text to hundreds of thousands or hopefully hundreds of thousands, but let's say hundreds or dozens of people, we uh, translate a text or create a text for a single client, for, a, for just single use sometimes. Maybe it's a contract, it's something legal. You just do it once, it'll be used in one context, and that's it. No more distribution. It's not going to be uh, some kind of mass market product. So at that point... The analogy, the analogy between uh, bespoke shoes and the bespoke translation we make kind of breaks down. You can't set up a great big Nike uh, industry for translation because not everybody needs that specific text. It's one-to-one, -one, especially our technical and legal and financial text and so on. So, um, okay, more on the next uh, video.